Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. In this makeup tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this purple glittery eye. Anyway, I just thought this would be a fun look um, for New Year's Eve or just for any time that you're going out. You just really want to just add some little uh to your look. This is it. Anyway, if you'd like to know how to recreate this look, definitely make sure to keep watching. All right, so I'm going to start with priming my eyelids with the NYX Face Skin. Um, I've already done my eyebrows with the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. Now I'm moving on to this Carity Professional Smoky Palette, and I'm going to be starting with that color in the BH Cosmetics number 12 brush. First I'm going to set it in place, and then I'm going to buff it all over. All right, and then we'll move on to this next color to start with working the transitional shades, and this is a LA Color um, Blender Brush that I'm using. And what I noticed with this color is you have to keep adding it on. It's a lot of blending and going back and reapplying more color because some of the color blended away. Um, yeah. <laughs> so moving on to this next color, I'm gonna use this orange color to deepen in the crease a little bit more. And keep, keep adding more color. Because with this palette, you have to literally keep adding more product. Then I'm just gonna go back and blend out the edges to make it look more smooth. That's the cool thing about starting out with the base eyeshadow. And now I'm going in and deepening in my crease. I'm just blending, blending, blending. Blending now, some of the color went, kind of got blended away, so I'm adding more of the orange tone up there. Now I'm switching onto the Milani Shadow Eyes in Royal Purple, and I'm gonna be put, placing this on in more of a halo type shape with leaving the middle section open. And of course, I'm using this applicator to blend out the crease area as well. Then I'm moving on to Golden Bronze, and I'm placing that in the middle. That's also from Milani Shadow Eyes. And you can place this color here on the purple part um, that we placed before. And then I'm going to switch up and use more of um, a fuchsia color to place on the gold area. Just make sure to blend out those edges. And now I'm switching up to the LA Colors Shader Brush to pack this color, this fuchsia color, on to the lid. And then I'm using this color, but it wasn't shimmery enough. It had more of a powdery look. So I'm just blending out the edges and then I'm using this uh, e.l.f. instead um, e.l.f. prism eyeshadow palette. Now I'm going to use this purple color to darken in the outer corner only and blend out the crease. Now you can just clean this up with a uh, baby wipe and we're going to move on to the glitter with Ben Nye Glitter Glue. This stuff is pretty awesome. It makes sure that the glitter doesn't like drop all over your face as the day proceeds on. Now I'm just using that color from the e.l.f. prism palette uh, to highlight my inner corner of my eyes. And now I'm going to remove all the little fallen glitter pieces with this tape. This is a cool little trick that I learned from probably watching some drag queen on YouTube. All right, so I'm going to be using this liquid liner from NYC to do a wing liner. And honestly, I think that this is the best solution when it comes to applying liner over glitter. Um, if you want to have a nice, clean, straight line. And I'm going to be lining my lash line with this. And I'm going to be applying that Royal Purple from Milani on my lower lash line. I'm going to be using this color here to set it in place. And I'm going to fade it out with another brown, lighter color to give it more of a gradient effect. And then I'm going to blend it all out, make it blend out to my eyes with that first color. And I'm just reapplying that Prism color from Elf and then I'm darkening this outer corner to extend the look a little bit more to make it look more seamless. And then to blend out that brown, I'm just going back right to that first color to blend it out. And I'm gonna be using two mascaras for this look, the Revlon Lash Potion and the CoverGirl Super Size, just like a bit more dramatic look. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Willow Eyeliner to line my lips and I'm using this Milani Bear Secret Lip Gloss to finish off this look. And of course, I'm cleaning up this um, right here because I have an eyeshadow that landed on top of it. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Anyway, if you like this video, definitely go ahead and make sure to give it a thumbs up so other people like you on YouTube can find my video. If you liked this makeup tutorial, definitely make sure to leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. If there's something special you would like, like for me to recreate, definitely let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so by clicking right here so you can get notifications when I upload a new video. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. I am happy